Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. There's one thing in the game of tennis when you're playing a match that I don't understand. You're saying you're sorry, but are you really? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, um, one thing in tennis that I don't understand when I was growing up, this never happened. Um, and I'm not understanding why it happens today. And I feel like the evolution of it has been in the last <clears throat> feels like 10 years, but it definitely could be longer. And it's the gesture of after you hit a net cord and you win the, win the point there. You hold up your hand and you say, sorry, sorry, sorry that I won the point. But the question is, are you really sorry? Do you really care? You just won, won the point, right? I don't understand. I mean, it, it yeah, it, it, I don't understand. So I called Coach Robin and... uh Coach Rob, I feel like, like back in the day when you and I were growing up, like if I hit the net cord and I won the point, I'd be like, yeah, man, I won that point. I hit the net cord and it rolled over and you couldn't get it. Okay. So no, sorry. Mm -hmm. What's that all about, Coach Rob? Well, um, I love your description of the old days there. Um, I would say... It's more like, the finger, dude, I just beat you. No, just kidding. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I think that in tennis, you have etiquette, and you have the honor system, and that you're taught to you know play fairly and respect your opponent, call the lines fairly, call the score, all those things that in pretty much every other sport, you have officials. You have umpires in baseball, you have referees in basketball, or referees in soccer, um, uh, officials for volleyball, you name it. In tennis, we are the player, we are the, the scorekeeper, we're the linesmen, we do all of that. And I think it kind of came about a little bit was, I wasn't aiming there, I wasn't trying to hit it off the tape and then have it roll over. So in some sense, I was lucky and so, it's not like you're going, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You just sort of acknowledge with a little bit of a wave, kind of like, you know, maybe you're driving and someone's going to pull out and you wave them through, acknowledge, hey, I'm, you know, that you saw that and you respected that they're letting you in and they, they kind of give you a little acknowledgement back. It's not like you're, um, you know, <clears throat> truly oh my God, I am so sorry that you had terrible luck and I was lucky. That just happens. Um, maybe it could be that you want to make sure the tennis gods know that, hey, I'm, I'm thankful that you helped me on that one. Um, you know, I don't know. I respect that more, right? You should like, instead of doing this, your opponent's like, thank you, right? Thank you. Yeah, you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. or, or the guy who tightened the net. I mean... Yeah. You know, back in the club days when we would say that happened or we'd see it happen, we go, oh, that guy paid his dues, you know. He, the other guy, he didn't think he must not have paid his monthly dues yet. So right. he had the bad luck and the guy who paid his dues had the good luck. I mean, it's a lot of. But back in our day, nobody ever did that. Yeah, I don't remember doing that a lot. Right. So, I mean, you, you mentioned to me before we started shooting this that, you know, there was, there was a lot of bad blood between people back then. It could be. I mean, I, you know, I don't know if the pros had bad blood with each other and they didn't do it. And so therefore we didn't do it. I know we saw a lot of people breaking rackets and smashing rackets and yelling at umpires and, um, you know, really going um, off the rails a little bit. And I think, you know, the sport tried to change and tried to, you know, bring back the the a etiquette, more formality and, and, yeah, etiquette. and a little bit more respect your opponent and respect the game. Um, so the yeah. other so so here it brings out another question. Okay, when you do this because you hit the net court and won, I see most of the time the other person is standing like this anyways. 
so they don't really even see it. It's not like you're waiting for them to look at you and say, sorry, dude. You know, it's not like that. No, it, you're absolutely it, right. Just, ah, and a lot of times you made the, care? yeah, the point, <laughs> the point could be over. He's turned around and you just put your hand up as you're walking. Right. And you're not even, you're, you're like, you're, what? you're like doing this. You're like looking away and doing this. Right. And, just and so it, that the cameras can show you doing this. And maybe, you know, maybe it could have started where the guys have played each other a lot. They practice with each other. Maybe they've traveled with each other. And they're like, Dude, you know, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you know, so it's more like you're playing a friend than you are playing. Um, you know, like if you and I were to play and I got lucky on a leg where I go, sorry, Harry. You and I are friends. I, mm -hmm. I would acknowledge that. Right. If I didn't know you, I'd probably just give you a half wave and continue on and want to kick your ass. But I mean, yeah. kick, kick your butt side, backside. <laughs> so, I mean... So do you think it's necessary? I like the I like it so that it shows that there is respect between your opponents and that you're teaching some sort of etiquette uh, that as coaches, we can say, hey, look, this is how they do it. This is what you need to do. Be respectful um, and, and show that side of the game. OK, so I guess do it. <laughs> I don't know. I usually whenever have it when it happens to me. And I don't know if you noticed this. I usually, instead of doing this, I was like, sorry, Coach Rob. I just actually just say it. So mm -hmm. I don't I don't need to show boat for the camera and say, like this, okay? Like this. I just right. say, sorry, Coach Rob. Sorry, Coach Rob. All right. You know? So maybe do that. I don't know. I don't like this. this I don't understand. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't help you understand that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that I don't like. I didn't grow up with it, therefore I don't. Really right. I, I don't it. like you. You know, when we started talking about this before, I was like, God, I don't remember when we started doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember doing it as a kid. And maybe when we were the juniors, we had so many loopy highballs because we didn't want to hit it in the net. That it didn't happen that often. It did happen more on serves, but you don't really acknowledge it on a serve because it's a let and you take it over. That's true. So we hit flatter back then, so maybe it didn't happen as much. So, Where we hit the kind of loopy, flat, you know, we didn't hit a ton of top spin. Right. But, hmm. I don't know. There you go. Okay. So, guys, share with us what you think of that rule. Did you grow up in an era in which this wasn't done? Uh, or did you grow up in an era in which this was done? And tell us your thoughts. Is it good? Is it bad? Do you believe in it? Um, do you not understand it like me? Um, let us know, okay? I uh, want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for uh, showing us the way in terms of uh, the let thank you, sorry, the let sorry, okay? Um, are you really sorry? That's the question. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got you, Rob, buddy. Look, I got you, Rob. Oh, man. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Thank you for, thank you for the weekly lesson, dude. Oh, I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Now, if you want a patient pro, just like Coach Rob, hey, play your court is the place. The, your pro can come to you, right? They can come out to your site. All you need to do is go to playercourt.com. You can even get a discount there. Playercourt.com forward slash tennis spit. Harry, are you sure you're right-handed?